Hello, I'm Jomaka, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. This is episode four, and actually it's Feed the Beast Beyond. Um, today, we're going to go on a little adventure. We're going to try to set up some bees so we can get a couple different trees. Um, and I need to find a couple different things. Um, so yeah, we need to do some major exploring. So I am going to start off getting all the bee-related items that I need. Um, yeah, I don't remember exactly everything I need, uh, but I'm going to collect that stuff, and then we'll go off. I think we're going to head north and try and uh, explore that direction. I haven't done too much exploring that way. And... Basically, the idea behind getting the bees is to get teak trees. And in order to do that, you need to crossbreed dark oak and jungle. And I don't have either of those in storage. I think there's some dark oak that direction. That looks like dark oak to me. There's a beehive that we'll collect on the way. And we need to find a jungle. And then we'll just pick up any other items from different biomes that we don't have yet. So I need to make sure that I get a graph grafter and a scoop for sure. The grafter will allow me to grab um, saplings from the tree every time and the scoop will allow me to collect the bees. So I'm going to build those two things and we can go ahead and get started with that. So it looks pretty easy to build. And yeah, I will see you guys once I have everything ready. All right, we got everything we need. Armor is starting to take a beating along with all of my stuff. But we got full stack of steak. We got two grafters and two scoops. And we are going to head off in this direction. And basically I'm just going to pick up anything I don't think I've seen before and definitely look for a jungle and then of course the black oak which is right here so not very far actually we don't even need much So we'll just use one full stack, or not full stack, one full grafter. And that should be what we need for there. I guess that's way closer than I thought it was, but that will be all right. Um, so yeah, we'll just head off in this direction and collect anything that looks to be different and definitely get a bunch of bees and definitely look for that jungle. So I'll be out here for a while, I'm guessing. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find the jungle, but I have a feeling it might. So yeah, now we got some bees. And those... Only one. Um, we need the the drone also, but yeah, we'll get them and other hives. So I'm going to continue on and then I'll bring you guys back at some point. All right, we're going to head back to base. It's been like two minutes, um, but I definitely forgot to get a bed so we could sleep through the night. And then also we need one of those backpacks to hold all the bees because this is going to fill up my inventory really, really fast. And I don't remember if I can make it very easily or not. Um, but if I can make it right now, I will go ahead and do that. But if not, I'll just drop off the bees I do have and continue out. So the backpack is right here. Um, we have everything we need except that we are missing one honeycomb and I think that's it. 
Um, but everything else I have right here, I got my bed, and then we got the crafting table for when we do find one more honeycomb. And we dropped off all the bees, and we're all good to go. So I'm going to head back up, we'll take a nap here, and then we'll continue our search for a jungle and some more bees. Well, we got pretty lucky here. We found a cinnamon wood tree, um, but it, it appears to have jungle leaves. So we never found the jungle itself, but we did find the jungle saplings we need. And here are all the bees we found. This one I'm not going to count because that's Pam's harvest, but we'll take it back anyways. And I think we're going to head back home. So let's see, this is, where are we, right here. So we didn't actually get too far. Um, I mean, it's a, a decent distance, but I'll take it. I mean, we got pretty lucky here with the cinnamon trees, and I don't have to continue the search anymore. I think that's everything I needed. So I'm going to head back. And I think we're going to get started on actually making all of the bee things we need. Um, I do want to have ten princesses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need three more. And I'm going to continue the search for those before I actually head back. And here's one right here. And by the way, these bees are really deadly. Um, so you were added, and I think we're okay. So we'll just say two more, and then I'll count again, just to make sure. And then we will head back to base and get started with the building. Okay, I got the machines that I need built. I got the carpenter centrifuge, and the squeezer. Um, they're going to need some power, so temporarily I think we will set them up like right here. And we need to go in the back and set you up. Um, but I think I think what I want to do is convert this from these wire connections to the Ender I.O. Um, conduits, I think it is. Yes, which one? Energy conduit. So in order to do that, I need conduit binder, which we get here. Is that it? I thought I needed conductive iron. I guess I don't even need um, an ender pearl, which I thought I did. So I'm going to go ahead and build up some of these, get these hooked up, and then go ahead and start cooking the stuff that I need. I got a little carried away between the last clip and now. Um, we got this all hooked up. I got everything made that I needed. Um, so let's head up to our little bee farm that I already set up. One of the clips I ended up losing um, just because the sizing was wrong. I guess I exited full screen and came back and I don't know. It disappeared. It wasn't a long one, but this is what we got set up. Um, and we already got some leaves that are kind of mutated. There's tons of flowers around. Uh, I just started with one or two flowers, but the bees have been busy. And we got it set up to where they automatically go back in. So this has been running basically all night, and all these are full. The only bees that actually work here are the wintry bees. Um, but yeah, this is kind of set up. What I need to do is kind of build a little hut still, uh, which we'll do after this. But I'm going to head back inside and see if we can't break some of these 
with the grafter and hopefully we'll get a teak tree um, sapling. So I will go inside, get what we need, and come back out and then graft the trees and hope for the best. Alright, we got, oops, wrong button. We got the grafter. I got four of them just because there's only ten uses each. But let's go ahead and see what we get. Jungle. Dark oak sapling. Looks like a jungle. Um, there's one. I should have brought some blocks to jump up with. Jungle, dark oak, jungle, jungle. Um, there's this one. Got a jungle. Am I doing the wrong ones? No, I think I'm doing the right one. Uh, so yeah, we'll just keep doing this. And there's our teak sapling. So let's go ahead and plant this. And then once it grows, we can harvest it and hopefully get some more teak saplings. But I'm going to continue using the grafter here and just finish getting all the mutated uh, tree leaves here and maybe we'll get something else maybe we'll get a few more teak tree saplings but if anything else it'll just clean it up I ended up cutting down all the trees here are all the saplings we got back other than the teak trees which I planted all over here so we got one two three four five six it looks like and that's a regular oak tree so not bad. Um, we can do this again with different varieties of trees and get different trees that you can't actually find in the wild. Um, I also put all the extra drones and honeycombs in this chest. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wait for these to grow. I don't think I have any bone meal, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just let it do its natural growth. I'll get rid of this just just for fun. Um, but next what I'm going to do is try to find some wood. Maybe we'll do the tiger wood and see what that looks like. I think that would look good. Um, what I'm going to do next is build a honeycomb building nearby here so we can put all the the bee things, um, all the machines and everything inside the honeycomb and it can be its own thing. I will need to run power, I'll probably just do it from up here and do the regular wires, um, but we'll worry about that once we get there. First I have to build it. So I'm going to get started on that and I'm going to use this tiger wood um, to do the build. So maybe I will plant a few more of these. I don't need much, but it is nice to have and it'll go a little bit faster if we plant some. So yeah, when I come back we should have a completed honeycomb uh, little building somewhere around here. Alright, there is our little honeycomb building. Um, I'm not sure how I feel feel about it. It definitely looks like a honeycomb to me. Um, we got our teak trees and dragon, lion, whatever, tiger trees over there. And I like this little door here. Um, but yeah, here is the inside. I'm going to put, I need to run power out here still and put the machines in. Um, why don't I go and grab those right now? Um, yeah, we got pretty good stuff in here. I mean, the bees was pretty time cons time consuming to set up. Um, I really wanted to get the teak tree so I can build a barn. I really like the look of uh, the teak tree like slabs. Or like a roof type thing. 
and that's what I'm going to end up using it for. So let's head back up. We can worry about power after I get these in. Um, but yeah, back to the barn. I built one in a creative world just to kind of see how I wanted to do it, see what I could fit in there. And I have an idea for the first farm that's going in, which I kind of built the farm around. And I just wanted to make sure that it was big enough and I could do it. And there's those. And energy will probably just be down here like that. And it'll run down to the ground. We'll probably get some slabs of the tiger wood. Make this floor look better. Maybe we'll use a different floor. Actually, we can probably just use the teak tree. And I'll show you guys what it actually looks like um, as in slab form instead of just the blocks. Can I do this? Oops. I can. So there's the planks. Um, just like a very dull gray, which I feel like is perfect for a roof. So let's see how this looks. We will probably do something like this. I actually like it. I think it looks really cool and makes for a good floor also, not just a good roof. So yeah, I'm going to head back inside. I will finish that floor up. Actually, I'll just do it before I go back in. And then I will need to figure out how to run some power out here. I'll probably run it underground. Uh, I'm not sure how far out the base goes underground. I don't think it goes out too far. Maybe just underneath the cows there. Um, but I definitely need to get some power out here in order for these to work. So I'm going to get started on that and then I'll be back. I am doing a live stream today, um, not the day you're watching this video, but uh, probably in the middle of this episode will be the live stream. So there may be some things that I get done that weren't here uh, in between the next two clips. So I will be back shortly. All right, I did do a live stream. Um, we have these two here. I was working on something. I don't remember what I was actually doing here. Um, but we got power run out to the little beehive area over here. Uh, it's very dark in there. And then I also built a little trying to build or trying to farm endermen thing down here. So we'll walk down and kind of see what it looks like. It is night, so all the mobs have spawned above ground. But we'll head all the way to the bottom here and just kind of show you what this does. So we go down this dark hallway. It's all slabs, so we're okay here. Um, and then we end up in this little area here, protected from mobs. We kind of sit and wait until we see something we want. Uh, which is basically the Enderman, and if we don't see anything we want, we come up to the top here, and there's a little AFK spot where I can look down and see what's there. Um, and then when we see one, we'll just go look at him, just stare him down, give him the evil face. He won't like that, and then he will come and eventually teleport over the fence over in this area, and we can kill him. So this is all to get Ender Pearls while we start. Um, until we can actually get um, like an Enderman farm going. And then I got these here from Dark Utilities. It's just a damage trap, so when mobs walk up to the edge here and try and get me, uh, they end up dying. And we can pick up the drops if we want, but it's really just to kind of protect me from things that aren't Endermen. And so far, I used it a little bit, not too much, um, but I was able to get two Ender Pearls and one Enderman Soul, which will be nice once we actually do or have enough resources, which I think we're really 
really close uh, to actually build an Enderman farm or spawner. It'll be a powered Enderman spawner, which is right here. I think powered spawner Ender IO empty. So we will need that. Um, and then this is just we put the Enderman head in here along with other things like we can do that now um, we need electrical steel vibrant crystal z-logic controller and I thought we needed a broken spawner oh this was the empty one that's why but yeah We'll get to that eventually, and then we can get all the interpearls we need uh, to go anywhere else, build all the other things we need. And yeah, interpearls are definitely the hardest thing I've, or yeah, hardest thing I've had to find. Um, just because Endermen never seem to be around when you actually want them to be. Um, but yeah, let's go head up. I don't think I made any more changes to up here since the last clip. Um, there's definitely a lot more flowers up here. Uh, they're just everywhere. These bees have been busy. We got our teak trees going. I got a couple here and there. And then we do have power in here, which we can use the carpenter, the centrifuge, which I did use. We got snowballs, beeswax, honey drop, and crystalline pollen cluster. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and just throw these in here and get a few more of these things going. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time.